called the X step and the cross blade. So whatever you want to call it. Again, I'm going to be going over this move briefly in case you haven't learned it. And then I'm going to be going over how to perfect it, tips and tricks so you can master it. Now what I actually want you to start doing is what's called the shaper running man. The shaper running man looks like this. One, two, three, four. So with the regular running man, we're focused on stepping our front foot down. But with this one, it is more of like a kick down with that front foot. And then we focus on kind of popping our other foot back, but at the same time. So it's one. And then I hop onto my front foot, coming up to perch. And then I repeat on the other side. One and two. And I recommend if you're struggling with the poly pocket, starting mastering the shaper running man down, because a lot of the times that's where I see people struggling. Then move on to doing the poly pocket, which is the same thing as the shaper running man, but now we're adding in twisting. So when I land this foot forward, I twist my lower body so that I'm now landing my feet along a diagonal. And then I come up to perch, and then I let my other foot along the other diagonal, okay? I'm not going like this, I'm not opening up to the side, I'm crossing over and turning in. This is hard to do slow, so if you're struggling to do it slow, don't worry about it too much. I think this is one of those moves that needs a little bit of speed and momentum to make it look good. Let's try it together, and then we'll go over some tips. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, tip number one is this move is all Step your left foot back 
and come up to perch now facing center again. Same on the other side. One, step back, come to center. Now swinging that together, it's one and two and three and four and. A lot of the times I see people trip up with that back step. So what I want you to practice is again going back to that shape of running man and going with one, two, three, four. Practice doing it without the twisting first and then add in the twisting because that will kind of make it a little bit easier to practice. Now another way you can do this is actually kind of walking forward with your poly pocket. So rather than just keeping it right here, I can actually walk a little bit forward with it. The way that I do that, I can do it from the side. I do one poly pocket and then instead of bringing my foot all the way back, If it was, let me know down below and let me know what move you want to master next. I love you. Hope you're having a great day. Mwah. Bye.